so these are the steaks I buy. These are £1.49 each. Get these from Asda. We've got, we've got 10 of them here. It should last us about a week and a half. Just cooked up a steak on the uh, fire fire stove with the Dutch oven lid. I really like this as a method of cooking. This Dutch oven lid's really coming to its own now. I use it actually more than the Dutch oven itself, but it's had a few 
Uh, it's been used a few times, so the cast iron's really nicely absorbed the oils from cooking, and it works so well for like non-stick. It's better than Teflon, honestly. It, just put that steak on there, didn't stick at all. It's actually easier for me to cook steak outdoors because I've got this cast iron lid and it actually is to cook indoors. So for the last week, I think I'm like day five, six, uh, of eating steak every day. This is a little experiment I wanted to run on my body. Now, I don't want to make this video to divide people. Uh, you know, diet, nutrition really is a contentious subject. There are people that are militant plant-based advocates. There are people that you know, a militant carnivore diet advocates. And I don't want to like divide people. And I've experimented like both sides of the fence. The actual original reason I set this YouTube channel up was for a, a dietary experiment. This was a couple of years ago, probably four or five years ago. This is when the vegan plant-based thing was really getting big. The documentaries first started coming out. And I thought, you know what? Maybe there's something to it. I don't really like the you know industrial farming industry i don't think most people do i think you know the way often animals are treated especially like in in, in the industri in, industrial farming practices isn't the best um so why not why not try it so i tried it for about a year um cutting out meat eggs dairy just basically completely i prefer the word plant-based rather than vegan vegan is very much in my opinion an ideology Whereas plant-based is just like a form of diet, right? I think there is that difference to make. And I never wanted to call myself vegan, just plant-based. And it wasn't completely strict. Like if I went away with work and they put food on, I'm not the sort of person that likes creating problems. Uh, it's, the food's already been cooked, it's already been done. Whatever, I'll eat it. So it was, I was probably like 99.5%. Um, whenever I was cooked for myself, it'd always be plant-based. And if I'd buy stuff, it would be plant-based. But if someone else had cooked for me, you know, I'm not the kind of guy that wants to create problems for people. So I would eat f food if it was put on. I did that for about a year, just as an experiment. Like Maybe there's something to this. All these documentaries are saying there's stuff to this. Uh, and at the end of it, I felt terrible. At the end of that year, I had a lot less energy than I had going into it. Uh, I think mental health wise, it had, had negative effects, which is documented as well, as well as low energy. Now I'm not to say this happens for everybody, but it certainly happened for me. And I, I think people have, someone told me that I, I, I'd, I'd watch this in a documentary at times, uh, quite a base person said, look, you can do the plant-based diet, but get your blood levels checked, you know, be very rigorous about it, be, be absolutely on sure that you're getting all the right nutrients that you need, because most people crash out. I think the statistic is something like two thirds of people that go plant-based drop out of it within a year two years something like that and that makes sense to me for me it was i was never in it for the ideological reasons i thought okay yeah you know big farming isn't great if i can cut that out and be healthier then win win but for me it didn't work so the last week i've been eating a steak every day again this is just another experiment how does it affect me because i definitely know with me i think i'm i'm quite prone to say like low iron levels and i think was one of the reasons why after the year uh, I had a lot less energy than I had going into it. And I do actually take, I'm supplementing iron tablets uh, as well. That's something that I do because for, for my nutrient balance, for, for my genetics, the way I'm made up, uh, I don't retain iron that well. And, but the, the, even that with the iron supplementation, it just wasn't working. So for me, me then this isn't to offend you know, plant-based vegan people, but for me, I would say quite critically, my life is significantly uh, a lower standard with not eating meat and I think specifically for me like red meat is very important for like the iron levels now as I say I, I'm in the middle of an experimentation period at the moment I'm eating these steaks every day I found these um, steaks from Asda if you live in the UK they're one pound fifty. so I don't have like all the money in the world I'd love to eat you know the best welfare the best kept beef you can get but for me it's a realistic balance um, if if I'm low energy, then I'm not making videos. Then I think if I'm not making videos, then long term, I, I, you know, I can't help as many people because, you know, in the future going forward on this channel, I want to be able to like help people when we're making like interesting and videos that people relate to. So for me, it's a tricky balance. I don't have the money for like really high welfare beef. So I get this stuff from Asda and for everything that people say, uh, beef in the UK is relatively high 
uh, standard anyway maybe it might, it might not be the best that money can buy but if you're buying it from a UK supermarket it's probably not terrible compared to a lot of stuff that happens in the rest of the world so that's the balance I've found at the moment these steaks in Asda are only one pound 49 which I think is fantastic value that's the price of a of a double cheeseburger from McDonald's or you can get a, a steak which you can cook up in your own time uh, they weigh 170 grams which is a, is a reasonable size steak for one pound 50 there's a little bit of an experiment that I've been running at the moment so for the reasons why steak every day for me it's just to be more productive I'm probably healthier uh, I, not to say that I'll eat a steak every day for the rest of my life but it's just like a little experiment I'm just running another I, look, I quite like running experiments I quite like running experiments on myself so I tried the vegan thing for a year it didn't work for me not to say that it can't work for you if you're interested in that but it didn't work for me and I'm trying it with a steak I definitely feel better for it whether I'm still in the placebo phase I'm still basically eating my normal diet I'm still I'm thinking of like basically removing breakfast as a meal but by and large lunch and dinner are still the same and then I like just ha have a steak almost as like a snack generally in the afternoon between lunch and dinner say around 4 p.m that sort of time I mean it's, it's, it's quite easy for, for me because I work nights anyway so the days it's quite easy to move around you know it might be different for you but that's the reason why at the moment uh, steak every day um, it's just a little bit of an experiment and so far it seems to be going quite well the plant-based diet for me didn't work that's not to say maybe I will never I will always rule it out in the future because that's not necessarily the case I'm a very open-minded and flexible person if if something came along that said hey look you could do the plant-based diet but do x y and z I maybe consider it but this is where I am at the moment steak every day so I came out this morning with the uh, Petromax Dutch oven lid and the, I think it's, it's Lixander, I'm pretty sure this is a Lixander fire stove, generic eBay one anyway. Tasted fantastic outdoors as always. Um, so that's just a little bit of an update from me. That's kind of touching base where this YouTube channel originally came from. Uh, so thanks for watching this video guys. It's pretty rainy, so uh, I think we're gonna minimize this walk now. We're probably done now. The dog's quite happy, he's been running around. We're gonna head back to the car and uh, I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching.